I'm Kathy Ellis, so I am a BA in music and a BA in studio art. Just started the studio art degree. Um, I'm a senior, so I'm graduating with a music degree, hopefully coming back to finish the art degree. Um, I began painting actually, I guess a year ago but uh, mainly taking like that actual painting class last semester. Done, like drawing is, is my more developed, not forever. And then I just started painting. I do uh, deal with plaster sculptures as well as uh, paper mache sculptures and um, which was my own idea or whatever. And then also uh, dealt with bronze. Um, looking at Mirandi right now, he's a painter. Um, he's pretty famous, and he he's uh, he does a lot of still lifes of pottery, mm -hmm. but his color choices are so like sophisticated. I also really love Iowa. He's um, a very cool. I love it because his work not only uh, touches the people, but um, and inspires me and stuff, but it's also like uh, very uh, intricately made. So he takes a lot of time in his craft. He uh, comes from a place where art as expression is just not allowed. He gets in a lot of trouble for the things that he really like sculpture, just in general. The work is not completely representational, but it's not completely abstract. Tell the forms that I make, but they're not perfectly, you know, like a mm -hmm. model would be. Like. All of the work that I do is about relationships. It's about um, community, uh, how one person may or may not affect another person um, or a community in a sense and how uh, uh, relationally like this is, this one's about women and how us as a society we view women and then my other my paintings are about um, musicians and how music can um, reach people and, and put you in a, a certain place and then uh, I did other sculptures based on the body and the expectations and things like that so it's all having to do with relationships and really view it from a distance and, and take time away from it to like come back with a fresh eye that's with anything really but as far as sculpture I haven't gone through like the downward yet I've just started and it's all still exciting and still learning about it it's really important to uh, know about what other artists are doing because you don't want to end up doing the same thing that someone's already done and also like looking at other artists um, is very inspirational because um, they, all of them, you know, see in different ways and, and sometimes similar ways and stuff. So as far as um, how I work, sometimes I'll have, like, I have my base idea, which is relationship. So I go off of that and how um, maybe something personal in my life's happening or, or a friend's life or something that I'm more passionate about, like, for instance, um, the women and how people view women, like, it's very personal to me as well as um, musicians for my painting. I'm, I'm a musician and around a lot of musicians like that. And then, uh, so it's a lot of personal. Interesting. When I first started like painting in my classes and stuff, my professors know that I'm a musician. As soon as they know I'm a musician, they get really excited and start relating art to music. Mm -hmm. And it's really, so far, um, 
they can't be separated because like, even in our society they're viewed the same way art and music in schools is not important and like also if you think of um, art you know music goes along with it music is a form of art you know just so to me they're like the same thing and they interplay I like to take what my professors say and they say like when I was painting last semester you would say you're making a composition you're making you're, you're uh, got one part here that's playing with this part and he make references to musical terms which I thought was really cool. Being a musician, um, especially if you're talking about the idea, ideal side or idea side, you, know, you can bring a lot of what music is in art. As well as being a musician, is, it takes a lot of work. So the work ethic that I gain from being a musician definitely goes into being an artist. Because it takes just, a snap, just the same amount of like physical work to do. And as far as it being just an artist and coming from an artist perspective, um, being on an art school, just re I keep saying that because it's really recent. Um, you know, uh, the artists try. You know, they talk to you in artist terms, just like musicians talk to in musician terms. So thinking of um, from an artist perspective, they it's really about opening your mind in a way. Not to say that um, I all the ideas, but to say that, uh, how can I improve this, how can I make this better, what's wrong about this, and, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of